Are home prices gonna decline in South Florida in 2022? At the end of every year, we make a video giving our predictions for what's gonna happen in the housing market here in South Florida. In this video, I wanna give you my six predictions of what's gonna happen in the housing market in 2022 and show you what our predictions were in 2021, where they were right and where they were wrong. Before we start our predictions, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram at Mandel Team Remax, and like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page. That's youtube.com slash Andy Mandel Remax. And make sure you tap that bell icon so you get notified every time we do a new video. So let's get into our predictions. Prediction number one is that we think home prices are going to continue to increase in 2022. So we think they're gonna go up by about 15% in 2022. In 2021, at the beginning of the year, we predicted that home prices were gonna go up only 7% in 2021, and we were obviously wildly wrong about that. The housing market has obviously been on a tear, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've noticed that. The, all the experts were predicting about 5% uh, for what home prices are going to appreciate in 2022, but that's a national average. It's not really local here in South Florida. That's including places where people are moving out of and where the demand is less robust. In South Florida, we, we are still seeing a ton of people moving here. Uh, there's still a lot of demand to be moving to South Florida. So we think home prices are going to continue to increase, but not at the same pace as they were in 2021. The example we're using is a four bedroom, single family home in the areas that we normally sell. So Parkland, Coral Springs, and Boca Raton. That four bedroom home has increased by 23% in 2021 compared to 2020. So uh, the 15% increase that we're predicting is about half the pace of what it increased last year, but that's still a little more than 1% per month. Prediction number two, supply is going to continue to be less than demand. So we've seen about one to one and a quarter months worth of inventory basically throughout the entire year here in 2021. And we see that trend continuing, unfortunately, in 2022. That's part of what is causing this rapid increase in prices. We do think there's going to be a slight increase. We're hoping it gets closer to about two months of inventory, uh, but we're not seeing you know, anything that's showing signs of there being five, six, seven months of inventory, which would bring it much closer to a buyer's market. That would really put it into a buyer's market. We don't see any signs of that. So we think it's going to still be a very strong seller's market in 2022. Prediction number three, we think rental prices are going to continue to increase as well. In 2021, to use the same example we were using for the sales prices, the average four bedroom home for rent in these areas has gone up 27% compared to 2020. So rental prices have actually increased faster than the price of homes for sale. There's a lot of people who are moving here from out of state. A lot of times people want to rent before they buy to get used to the area, figure out really where they want to be. So we don't really see that stopping anytime soon. We think rental prices are going to continue to go up in 2022. Prediction number four, we think interest rates are gonna to continue to rise as well. So in 2020 and 2021, a lot of buyers were able to take advantage of historically super low interest rates, almost free interest rates when it comes to mortgages. It's somewhere between 2.5 to 3%. That is historically unbelievably cheap. As the economy continues to improve and get out of this COVID slump that it was in, the Federal Reserve is stopping its quantitative easing and they've said that they want to raise interest rates in 2022 to try to tamp down some of this inflation that everyone's seeing in the economy. So we think by the end of the year, interest rates are gonna be closer to 4% compared to the 3% roughly that they are right now. That's obviously gonna drive up buyers' monthly payments because prices are gonna to continue to go up and interest rates. So the total housing cost is gonna end up getting a little bit more expensive in 2022, but 4%, even if it gets all the way up there, that is still historically extremely cheap. That's still less than what interest rates were at pre-COVID. So that's still a very, very good interest rate. Don't let that scare you. We think there's gonna be a rush of buyers at the beginning of the year who are looking to you know, lock in a super low interest rate before they start to go up. So unfortunately, that's probably gonna make it a little bit more hectic in the first quarter of the year. It's gonna drive up the prices a little bit faster in the first half of the year, I think, than in the second half. But that's really what we're predicting is that people are gonna to try to lock in the, the lower interest rate now before they rise too rapidly. Prediction number five, supply chain issues are still gonna be a problem with the housing market. So with new construction, it's hard to get lumber, it's hard to get labor. It's all driving up the cost of new construction properties. In addition to land in South Florida is very scarce and very expensive. So builders are really only building high-end properties. So with these uh, the labor issues that are going on in the economy, I think that's only gonna to continue to increase. 
um, with the infrastructure deal that was just passed this year, uh, we think a lot of the laborers who are doing a lot of residential properties, they're gonna be dry, uh, drawn closer to some of these big commercial and infrastructure projects that are gonna be happening across the country. So it's gonna make a shortage of labor, we think, uh, for the residential housing market. It's only gonna make it harder and a little bit slower and more expensive when you're doing these upgrades to your house. But that's just the world that we're living in and we think that's gonna continue for the next couple years as these infrastructure projects really get going. Side note, if you're watching this and you're younger or you're looking for a new career or job, getting trained in one of these skilled fields, electricians, plumbers, you know, welders, things like that, there's gonna be a really big demand in the country for that. Those are jobs that you don't really need to go to college for and they pay very, very well. So if you're looking for a new career or something like that, I'd be looking into kind of those kind of fields. And prediction number six, our last one, we think that older renovated homes are gonna sell for a premium compared to some of the homes that need a little bit more work. In this market in 2021, just that everything was selling if it was priced correctly, but buyers are getting a lot pickier with what they're willing to pay for. With the prices the way they are, they're really looking for a turnkey, move-in ready product. Those properties are selling for a premium. That's really where you're seeing these bidding wars and houses being the prices being bid up. Uh, we see that continuing in 2022. People don't really want to do the renovation. They don't want to live through that and the frustration that, that can cause. Uh, if your home is fully renovated and updated, we think it's going to sell for a premium and that's going to continue in 2022. So those are our housing market predictions for 2022. If you have any questions about the housing market here in South Florida, if you're thinking about buying a home down here, we'd love to be your realtor of choice and be a resource for you. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. You can even send a smoke signal or carrier pigeon. However you want to communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. Thanks for tuning in.